Karen, thrilled to chat with you. Um, I, I appreciate the time. I mean, let's just jump right in if it's cool with you. To start, Absolutely. Uh, just just tell me about how the Grand Dame reunion came to be, how the specials came to be, if it was Bravo's idea, if it was your idea, mm -hmm. what how the, how the kind of marriage came together. Bravo and Karen Huger are married. <laughs> Hello, so anything, you know, you know, and that's an honest statement. Um, I was going to do the family reunion. And so absolutely, you know, the cameras are always around me. And uh, it just happened that Bravo was like, yes, let's let's do this. And I got the green light and I was excited to do it. And it's, it's the right timing. It's perfect timing. Sure. Well, you know, there's obviously there's a, a succession vibe to the whole thing. And that's yeah. oh, with the yeah. music and, the, you know, with obviously the subject matter as well. You know, I watched Succession. I've seen what has happened to the Roy family. Uh, it's not been uh -huh. good. It's not been good, Karen. What made you want Well, you know what? That's why Karen has her version of Succession. Hello. Oh, I you mean, know, there's, what, there's hopefully there a happy concern? ending. Yeah, I mean, was there concern, though, about what would happen to, to the family by putting all of this very private stuff on, on camera? Absolutely not. Um, I come from a very, very wonderfully loving family. And I think in this time, in our country, when we're often encouraged not to talk about black history, we are honored as a family to talk about black history and not only talk about it, but talk about the plan to move forward. How do we keep this wonderful land of ours, this small town of ours, you know, alive this year and for uh, the next hundred years? Um, it was a poignant moment and it couldn't have come at a better time. You know what I'm saying? It needs sure. to be spoken about more. Yeah, well, I found the conversations that you guys had about black land ownership and, mm -hmm. and the farm really poignant and very important and really unlike anything maybe I'd ever seen on TV. Because like you said, that stuff doesn't get talked about. Why was that so important for you to uh, to address and to and to talk about on the show? Well, one thing I do very well is raise my children and my daughter really wanted to dig deeper into her heritage and she wanted, you know, anything beyond and everything beyond fables that we had heard, including myself. So I learned a lot on this journey as well. So, you know, answering my daughter's need to know, I think mm -hmm. parents have a responsibility to educate and I don't care how old your children are, Raven's 24. And my aunt and I, Aunt Val and I just took her on this journey and it was a powerful journey. And what we learned actually lifted us and empowered us even more. We knew we were bad. We knew we <laughs> had something special. We just, we didn't know how special we were. Um, and slavery didn't tarnish that. That actually just ignited us mm -hmm. and gave us, you know, it repurposed us. When you know from whence you come, there's no stopping. 